Within this lesson, we'll be working with multiplication word problems. A group of friends goes to the movies. Each person gets a drink and popcorn. How much do they spend all together, including their movie ticket? Remember, we're using a read, draw, write approach. Let's think about how much it is for each person. So one person, one person, not only has to buy a ticket, but they also have to buy the drink, and they also buy the popcorn. So again, that was a ticket, which was $9. A drink, which was four, and then also the popcorn. So for one person, it would be all of these, and what do we do with them? We would add them, nine plus four plus six. Nine plus four is 13, plus six is 19. So that is one person. They spend $19, but it says how much do they spend all together? So there's five friends, and if we have 19 then, we have 19 and we put that together how many times? So we're drawing that picture to represent that expression. That expression of 19 what five? Right, times five. 19 times five, let's use a standard algorithm. Five times nine is 45. Five regroup uh, four. Five times one is five, plus four is nine. So we have 95. And let's make sure to write out a nice sentence for that. It looks like I lost an R in popcorn. They, the group of friends, spends $95 all together. So it's really a two-step problem where we first figured out the total cost per person, and then since we had five friends, that's why it is that we multiplied by nine there. Our answer does seem reasonable in that if we spent $95 there, it's very close to $20 per person. 20 times five is 100. Here's another problem. Let's first read it very carefully. Take a moment to read it to yourself. Who is this problem talking about? Right, two families. And what is it talking about? It's talking about their use of water. Who uses more water, the Scott family or the Jones family? Right, it's the Jones family that uses more water. How much more water does the Jones family use? Right, the Jones family ends up using four times as much. So in our drawing, it's not 637. Well, that's two times as much. That is now three times as much, and that is four times as much. Let's write out a focused answer. Remember, this is the amount that they use in a day. Now, for our focused answer, it's asking how much does the Jones family use per week? The Jones family uses blank liters of, of water per week. The first thing that we are figuring out here is this is still going to be per day. So that's 637 times 4 is the expression that we are going to solve there. 637 times 4 will give us the amount that they use per day. So the Jones family uses 2,548 waters per day. The Scott family uses 637. But what's being asked is per week. Per week. How many days are in a week? Well, there's seven, right? So the Jones, in a week then, in a week, will be the amount they used in a day, and what will we do with seven? Right, we multiply by seven. Let's use the standard algorithm again. 
7 times 8 is 56, 6, regroup the 5. 7 times those 4 tenths is 28 tenths, plus 5 is 33. Place a 3, regroup the 3. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 3 is 38. 8, regroup the 3. And 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So in a week, the Jones family uses 17,836 liters of water. Here's one last problem to take a look at. And to take that read, draw, write approach, go ahead and work this problem out right along with me. So this is definitely your turn to go ahead and try. Let's go read, draw, write on this. So let's read first. And you can go ahead and draw that model right along with me. Jackson has 287 baseball cards. Greta has three times as many as Jackson. Han has 428 fewer than Greta. How many cards does Han have? What's one of the things we know? Well, we know Jackson's. Jackson is how much? 287. Now, Greta says three times as much as Jackson. So, we have 287... 287 again, and 287 again. So, that is the amount for Greta. As a multiplication problem, that would be 287, what? Right, times 3. Finally, we're looking at Han. It says Han has 428 fewer than Greta. So it's not quite all the way over there, because... There's going to be 428. That's fewer. So this amount here for Han is the amount we are trying to figure out. That is, for our sentence, we would say Han has blank baseball cards. So it looks like what we need to do is two parts. We need to figure out Greta's first. And then we can go ahead and use that number with the 428 to figure out Hans. Pause the video while you do your math work. So again, we had to figure out Greta's first, which was 287 times 3. Here's the standard algorithm approach for that. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 2 is 26, 6, regroup a 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So, Greta's amount is 861 cards. It says Han has 428 fewer than Greta. So, Han's amount is less by 428. Let's see if you did your subtraction correctly. 6 becomes a 5, so that 1 can become 11. 11 ones minus 8 ones is 3, 5 tens minus 2 tens is 3, and 8 tens minus 4, that is 8 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 4. So that Han has 433 baseball cards. Remember, it's very important to express your answer very clearly. And let's think whether that's a reasonable answer, 433. So if Han has 433, is that still fewer than Greta's? It is. It is fewer than Greta's. And then we had that relationship that Greta had three times as many as Jackson. So again, in some instances, drawing that picture will help you. And in each of these problems that we worked on today, we had multiple steps within the problem. And of course, there are different approaches that one could take as they are solving these problems and we could even take other approaches and another approach to solve this a different way to make sure that our answers are correct.